well, it's been another hot minute, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so, basically, because I'm pretty sure it's not. The last thing I filmed was like my wrap up, reading wrap up um, in January. Yeah. All hell broke loose. Yeah. Basically, what happened, I'm not sure to call it an argument of sorts, but kinda also. Yeah, I kind of had an argument with my friends, um, which ended up me um, having a total meltdown. Yeah, and uh, kind of unfollowing and subbing and all that from said people. Yeah, they kind of pushed me into a corner and I was already like, I had too many things on my mind. So when they shot, started pushing me into a corner, um, my anxiety spiked like a freaking explosion. And um, I, I kept telling them to like back off or else I was gonna do something that I can like go back from. And uh, they kept pushing and I ended up just, yeah, unfriending them basically. Did I overreact? A hundred percent I overreacted. Um, but at the same time, I don't regret it because it wasn't the first time they've like done this kind of a thing. And I'm sure it wouldn't have been the last time either. So, yeah, so no, I don't, I don't regret it. I just wish it hadn't happened that way. Um, but, them's the cards we dealt, and now we need to move on. Yeah, so I kind of spent the two weeks, like a full two weeks at least, just shaking from anxiety, trauma. And um, yeah, that was fun. Mm hmm. Mm hmm yeah that's over now and uh, uh, now it's time to move on <sighs> yeah that wasn't a great explanation but basically um shit happens and then we move on now I want to say that I mean I'm the kind of person that pushes my anxiety to the limit on more than one occasion but that's just because I don't want to use it as an excuse to not do things but when people trigger when other people trigger my anxiety and I tell them to back off and they don't listen yeah I can't I can't have that um, so so basically to make a very long story short I lost two friends and yes it was completely and entirely my own decision um, but I wish that decision hadn't been made in this spiking top of an anxiety attack but that is what happens when I have an anxiety attack and then I'm backed into a corner and even though I tell them to back off they don't, they don't listen. And these are people that have anxiety themselves, so they should know better. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, and so <laughs> because um, that also means that I'm not in the book club anymore, uh, and which kind of sucks because I got this the same day and I haven't opened this um, since January 27th. Thank you for 
not making me want to open this. So I looked into returning this book because although I may want to read it in the future, right now it's just giving me bad feels. So I was like, well, I, I might as well just get my money back. So I looked into how to return it. And freaking hell. I don't get how people do that buy, read, return kind of thing because there were so many things I needed to fill out. There was a, I, they wanted me to like write a mini essay on why I wanted to return this book and that is just too much work. That is too much work. Um, yeah, that's my food done. Cool. Um, yeah, so I haven't opened this, so we might as well just do it so I can throw away this box. Yeah, yeah, I, I need to put this somewhere where I can just forget it because, um, it's wrong to have like these bad vibes over a book when it's not the book's fault nor the author's fault and i'm sure i mean it's gorgeous cover and i'm sure i'd want to read it in the future but it's still yeah no yeah no right Let's move on from that because I have some exciting stuff ahead um, happening. So I shall update you on that a later. Hello, welcome to Lisa. <laughs> that was terrible. So, um, I want to say it was like in the beginning of January. It was like week one, week two something like that. Um, my sofa broke. Yeah, it just collapsed, really. And um, yeah, that was fun times. Uh, and then a little later, so um, I figured I'd just like use this little chair I had. Um, but I also noticed that that too is broken, um, which is so much fun considering I haven't actually used it myself except that first time I tried it on. Um, so good times, good times. Um, yeah, so after my little anxiety trip, which we shall not mention again because yeah, that was, that just sucked. Um, I kind of went on Facebook Marketplace. So here's the thing with me. I have, I, I really don't like um, other people's used stuff. I have a thing about it. So me going on Facebook Marketplace and looking up chairs, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, I did find, I found two chairs which I now have. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. So I pulled everything off and like washed everything because yeah. And then I went to town and scrubbed everything on it. I hoovered a lot. And I don't even want to tell you what I found like between the sofa cushions. Because there's one cushion that I, that's um, detachable, but underneath that is so, sort of like there's space to for stuff to get stuck in, and I don't want to tell you what I found, but it was disgusting, and this is why I don't like other people's used things. However. I do not have the money to buy a new sofa or 
chairs rather that I wanted to have um because I've been wanting to like get rid of my sofa and get like two chairs um instead and two because um sometimes I have guests and they want to sit somewhere too unfortunately well, otherwise I would have just been fine with one I'm not gonna lie um <laughs> the cats do love them though um and they take up space um so yeah I got chairs they're very very comfortable um yeah so the reason I have like blankets on top of them is kind of twofold um one I have cats and they get everywhere they get everywhere um so it's easier for me to keep them clean or you know don't have to scrub them with the hoover and like try to get all the hair off constantly which is a pain in the ass let me tell you um uh, also because uh, my mum sits in them and eats and spills yeah I mean I spill mostly on myself but um yeah so it's to keep them it's to keep them easily cleanable yeah, it's, uh, there's not much reasoning behind that. Um, so yeah, that's my big update for today. Now I have a cozy space to read. Which I shall be doing very, very shortly. some book mail so um I don't know what it is honestly well I have a vague idea but also no because I sent I um I pre-ordered a bunch and then I forget about it it happens so this is a paperback ooh Ooh, well, can we tell? It's a fancy gold one. A fancy gold one. Ooh. Um, so I have had like loads of mixed signals about this. Mixed signal. Mixed reviews. Um, so some people say it's good and, and most people say it's terrible and not worth your time but I had to deny I had to well we'll see we'll see apparently there's a exclusive bonus chapter so there's that what more do we have and lock them down on the floor, shall we? Let's see. Yeah, this is not very satisfying. Oh, ooh, okay, this is working. This is working. Uh, the fight, honestly. The fight. Let's see. Ooh, paperback. Ooh, pretty. I mean, I could want to complain about, can you see, <laughs> this part that's apparently like cut off, um, oh, it's, it's like cut off all the way, that's, that's lovely, that's lovely, but look at this, hide my face I suppose, so we have the Clockwork Girl by Anna Masola. It's a lot thinner than I thought it were, was going to be, but I do love it. Ooh. Historical fiction with a fantastical twist done with verse and skill. Awesome. Awesome. I'm kind of tired right now. I don't have a lot of energy. Um, 
Okay, so this is one of those that doesn't have a little thingy to flap off. That's great. Ugh. All the all the energy that I didn't have. <laughs> What's this one then? Oh yay! Okay, so this is a, the second um book in the what is it called? It's something like T something it's something with tea the series is called something with tea the first book is called a magic steeped in poison um which i got like with purple sprayed edges and this is um the second one they have the same like color scheme um i have no idea what they're about i just um got them because they look pretty so that's you know interesting I mean, it's not the first time, let's be honest. Wait, that was that. Three very different types of books. Put it in this way. This is a very weird angle. <laughs> I don't really know where anything is coming from. But this means I can, uh, well, I could have started before as well, I suppose. But now I have both. So I can binge them. Let's not binge books. Let's let's not go there. Let's not go there. This is gonna annoy me though. This is gonna annoy me so much. Oh, I can't fix it. I can just pull it up. Right. Now I got that. You can't really tell. Let's get back to reading, shall we? wrong with me yesterday but I was like I was feeling fine in the morning and then I went out and did some errands and like while in store I started feeling faint and nauseous and I was like am I about to, to like faint am I about to pass out I didn't thankfully but then I got home and I was like I feel a bit groggy and but it was fine I was feeling fine but after like that um, after the unboxing, it, it was like just my energy just, just evaporated from my body and I was like, and then I started feeling like cold shivers and stuff. So yeah, I went to bed, um, at like four or five in the afternoon and slept until evening and then I watched some TV and then I went back to bed but they were fine apparently anyway um so I want to update because I finally finished the city of brass I honestly don't even know how to summarize this book um so I'm just gonna read the blurb and then tell you my thoughts Uh, in a market of 18th century Cairo, thieves, tricksters, and con artists and outcasts eke out a living, swindling rich nobles and foreign invaders alike. 
But alongside this new world, the old stories linger. Tales of jinn and spirits and of cities hidden among the swirling sands of the desert, full of enchantment, desire and riches, where magic pours down every street hanging in the air like dust. Many wish their lives could be filled with wonder, but not Nari. She knows the traits she uses to get by are just tricks and slice of hand. There's nothing magical about her. She only wishes to one day leave Cairo. But as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. Um, yeah. I'm not sure I could have summarized the book like that. But sure. Um, so basically, we go back and forth between two characters. I want to say it was more in the beginning, but um, I might have just been very confused about the whole story. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because I can only see Nari and Ali um, when I go through it like this. So anyway, we go back and forth. The story is interesting, although it does confuse me a lot because there's like lots of like Middle Eastern, it is Middle Eastern, right? Anyway, there's lots of like names and uh, titles and stuff like that that kind of confuse me um, because they're not words that are heard very often, at least not for me. <laughs> so, hmm. Um, and so all the characters are called, like, they have their name and then they have, like, their full name and their nickname and uh, a title and a different title. And then they're called, like, um, whatever, like, kind of people they are. So each character has, like, 500 million names. And, um, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's not confusing at all. Um, anyway... It's just a minor detail, I suppose. It's easily enough to follow along, so it's not like that, but it's like, it's, it's a bit too many words for the same thing. Yeah, that's it. Um, so the story is interesting. It's easy enough to follow along, although you get like lost in the middle every now and again, and you kind of once you follow one character you kind of like oh okay this character now and then you like get to the end of that character and you switch and like oh but i want to follow that character continue on following that character i don't care about this character now and yeah it kind of goes like that so it's an interesting story i don't know that this book needed so many words meaning it didn't need to be this thick, possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, like, continue on with the series to actually get a feel for it. But right now, it's it's a bit like... Lainey Taylor, wasn't it? The... The Angel Marks books. What's that trilogy called? Hang on. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. That's the wrong app. Ah, Daughter of a Spoken Bow. So, at the moment, this book, the start of the series, is giving me Daughter of a Spoken Bow series vibes. Um, it's a bit like, it's an interesting concept. The story's kind of progressing, but do you care enough about it? I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. We shall see. I don't have the rest of the series yet, so um, that will be a problem for a later time. <laughs> problem. Um, but uh, at some point I will get them and read those two and we'll catch back up and see. Yeah. Anyway, since I finished this chunky book, I'm thinking... My brain needs something more light-hearted. So I have two choices. I ha can either pick up the book that I know I wanted to read by Richard Ewade, um, or Space Band by Tom Fletcher. So this one I think I want to like get the audiobook for, not 
for any other reason besides the fact that uh, I know Richard Ayoade narrates at least some part of it. It seems like there's like three narrators. So I'm, I'm confused at the moment, but uh, also I don't really know what this book is about. So there's that. And this one, um, apparently uh, every now and again, you will get like a prompt. Um, let's see if I can find one. Anyway, you'll get a prompt uh, which will say like, this song, uh, uh, scan this code to play this song on Spotify or wherever. Um, so there's like a album of music for this book, which intrigues me. Um, I, I don't think they're going to be like serious songs for some reason. But I think it will amuse me. So, one of these, maybe both, because I mean, this one is very tiny. This one is a bit chunkier, however, um, they're not adult. <laughs> so, should be easy reads all around. I got an update. So, I read slash listened to the book that no one wanted to read by Richard A. Wade. So, I definitely, definitely uh, suggest listening to the audiobook if you just want a good time. Otherwise, um, I feel like this book is, it's for children. So, there's a love for the parents or whoever reads the books to the kids. Uh, but if you just you know, like me, and not reading it to a kid, um, read it while listening to the audiobook because that was just funny. So we have three characters, technically. So we have the narrator that narrates the whole book. Then we have the girl um, who finds the book that no one wanted to read. And then we have the book that no one wanted to read. And um, it's basically just this little cute, uh, like, finding of why we, <laughs> like, take care of your books and stuff. Um, and then you get, like, little... What are these called? Graphics? Jesus. <laughs> Um, you get that throughout. So basically, we have the narrator that narrates everything and then the girl finds the book and then she has a conversation with the book and like, well, why does no one want to read you and so on and so thought and um, basically, it's just a laugh. It took me less than an hour to read. Um, just a good time, just a good time. So, like, for a second update, uh, I kind of want to play the music from the, like, Spotify playlist album. I'm not sure what to call it. But I did uh, also read Space Band by Tom Fletcher and the music that McFly, which is his band, if you don't know, really know that, um, did for the soundtrack. Well, did, well, technically, I think... Tom Fletcher just wrote everything. Well, let's not, let's cut that bit up. Um, so, being for children as well, we have, let's see if I can find some. So every now and again, uh, you'll get like these prompts, like this little QR code and stuff, which you can scan if you want. And then you get the whole, um, the full lyrics for the song that's, gonna play that you're gonna listen to so you can either just read the lyrics or you can read the lyrics while listening to the music which by the way is hilarious um do we have like a set list in here oh i'll just look it up on my phone spears ben go online to search oh jeez. okay so we have songs uh <laughs> so we have songs named Nothing Rhymes With Sausage 
<laughs> Rock the Socks of the World, Planet of the Apes, the greatest band in the universe. Basically, they're all hilarious songs, um, which is more or less like, well, it's just there to make you giggle, honestly, I think, possibly. I mean, it suits the whole, uh, the band in the book, the, because they're all kids making this band, and, uh, um, they're all kids in a band. There's three kids, um, in a band, and, uh, so the songs make so much sense for, uh, the age they are, um, but I mean, pure talent, honestly. So, basically, they sort of get kidnapped, I suppose. They get taken away into space where it's the battle of the bands. It's basically the battle of the greatest band in the universe. Um, so there's like loads of bands from different places around the universe and they're all going to compete uh, over who's the greatest band in the world. And then whoever wins that position I suppose uh, will then battle like the host um, of the whole battle of the bands so there's also like a catch to all this so whoever loses whichever band loses their universe uh, well their planet the planet um, gets I don't want to say disintegrated because they sort of get like taken away and for the moment but then they can like win their planet back if like the the last band to battle the host then also you know wins um but there's a trick to it because the host always wins <laughs> So, you know, it's um, they're basically set up to lose. So, <laughs> these kids, they're battling to save the earth. It's a good time. I mean, spoiler, the earth doesn't disintegrate. Yeah, I, I think we can figure that one out. Um, but it's a good time. It's honestly... <laughs> I love Tom Fletcher's books because they're always um, just a laugh, really. Uh, they 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 might be a chunky read because they're not exactly tiny. How many pages is this book? No, oh, it's like three hundred pages and like big font, so it's you know it's not it's not a chunky chunky book, but still, and also a lot of graphics and stuff you know um you want a good time yes i recommend these books <laughs> so i think i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because there's been a lot of reading going on there's been other shit too but we did read some books so i think we're gonna end this here and then see if i can like go for a more themed sort of vlog themed reading vlog that is and not just absolute nonsense happening around also i might just start living in these chairs now because it's so comfortable yes greatest purchase of the year so far <laughs> so yeah and until uh, next time take care up oh, a boy